The AMS Lite has performed admirably with our A-series printers, as I'm sure it has with yours. Still, there are certain disadvantages you have with this setup, and here are three that we found to be the worst. Number one, it's bulky. This thing is cumbersome, especially when fully loaded. This has been irritating for us because our A-series printers are perched on this not-so-wide Calyx shelf. Because of this, side loading can be a little problematic. I have not been fond of this. But there have been mods that have addressed this issue to make it less in the way. Just take a look at this wall-mounted AMS. But that doesn't get rid of the other problem. The filament spools are exposed. Depending on your environment, there could be a problem with moisture and dust. Yeah, your spools will gradually absorb moisture from the air when they are exposed like this. There is no getting around this with the AMS Lite as standard, no matter how many silica gel packets you throw at it. But again, the community have answered with mods like this one. The third problem is you can't combine these, so unlike the regular AMS, there is no option to connect multiple AMS lights to your A-series printer. It's just not possible. I really thought this would be addressed by Bamboo soon after the light came out. I waited, and continued waiting, and nothing. Now, up to 16 colors on the X and P-series printers, and on the A-series, four. But things have finally changed after a very, very long time of Bamboo Lab teasing us about the A-series AMS compatibility, it's finally arrived. With the release of the version 1.07 firmware at the end of October, the A1 and A1 Mini can now be used with the AMS, the AMS2 Pro, and the AMS HT, including combinations of those for up to four units. So let's try it out. Okay, to do this, you need several things. One is the new AMS A-Series hub, which you can find in our shop. The link is down below in case you want to get it. Next, you need three printed parts to mount it to the printer. Best to print these out of PETG or ABS if you have a secondary enclosed printer. Next is you need to update your printer to the version 1.07 firmware and Bamboo Studio to version 2.3.0 or later. If you get that out of the way, you can get busy with the hardware. Firstly, remove the PTFE tubes and maybe unload one of the filaments if you need to. Then remove the clip, but don't discard it, you'll need it later. Hot swapping these cables is probably not a good idea, so make sure the printer is off before removing those, and then you can get rid of that light. Now get the new clip that you printed and insert the knob into the L-shaped bracket. There is a protrusion on the slide connector that fits into the hole on the bracket to show you how it can be attached. And now push the slide connector into the hole with the knob so it snaps into place. And now you can snap fit it to the right side gantry mount. It should just click into place on the other side, just behind the gantry. You can now just slide in the new hub with the cable ports facing the rear. Okay, now get your AMS, your AMS2 Pro or your HD and place. Rotate if necessary. With the hub came two PTFE tubes, one slightly shorter than the other. The longer one is for the AMS to the hub and the shorter one for the hub to the buffer on top of the printhead. If you install them the right way, you should be able to move the printhead all the way to the left. Success! Now is a good time to put that tube clip back on so the power and data cable don't flop around. You also received a 4-pin cable with the new hub. That one goes into the back of the new hub and the other end to the printer. With your AMS, you would have gotten a 6-pin cable, which goes into the back of the new hub. The other end goes to the AMS, where there are two ports. Choose whichever. The second port is for daisy-chaining extra AMS units, should you want to do that. If you haven't updated your firmware already, now is the time to do it. It only takes a few minutes, and when it is done, it will reboot and irritate you by saying it's still not done, until it is done. It's done now. At this point, you can go to the settings and AMS options and you'll see AMS type. Now just choose the AMS option and it will prompt you to switch to a new firmware. So do that. You're not actually downloading a new firmware here, but the printer will switch the firmware to one that now no longer uses the light. If you now go to the filament options, you will be terrified to find out that it doesn't show the AMS. Don't worry, that's totally normal. Just reboot the printer and look again and boom, you got it. Your newly connected AMS unit should sparkle into life. However, you may get prompted to update the AMS firmware, so do that. But we're not stopping there. We have two AMS units. To connect these, just literally plug the new one into the other one with the six pin cable. Printer will prompt to update its firmware, so do that, and then you're good to go. Now you should be able to see both AMS units on the filament screen. 
So is the AMS light dead? Well, I mean, it's still for sale on the Bamboo website, so no, it's not dead yet, but I think they're politely showing it's a door. Given the recent hype with tool changers and other systems like Vortec, it is likely people will be less interested in getting AMS units in general, but seeing as Bamboo are sticking with the AMS technology for their newer printers, it's likely that they're just trying to streamline production and development to the AMS only. And that's probably why they released the update recently instead of like a year ago. But in the process, we now have 16 colors on the A-Series printers. And I really wonder what's going to happen with the A-Series now. I hope Bamboo don't kill it. I mean, we had the P2 just recently. Uh, whether we'll get an X2 or an A2, I don't know. I really hope they don't kill it, especially with the A1 Mini. That was a reliable printer. It was a great printer and it's in the shop now for 189 euro, which is one of the cheapest printers, but it's also one of our most reliable printers. Yes, it has limitations, but it has been an incredibly reliable printer for me. And there are so many things that could be improved, but still keeping that ultra budget option. Vortec on the A1 Mini would be weird though. Thanks for checking out our video, guys. If you're interested, you can find a link to the A-Series AMS hub down below in the description. We'll be back with another video soon enough. So until then, later.